Chrissy. And I'm Marinda, and we work with the Chattanooga Public Library. And for today's creative play activity, we are going to be doing some sidewalk chalk and some sidewalk chalk paint. So we are going to go over the supplies and we're going to teach you how to make the sidewalk chalk paint. And then we're going to go outside and make some awesome art. Sound good? Yes, it does. All right, let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to show two different ways to do sidewalk chalk art. One will be with your classic colorful chalk like Miss Chrissy has over here. You can also make your own chalk paint. So if you want to make your own paint, what you're going to need is some cornstarch. Mm -hmm. You're going to have some water to mix it with. You are going to have food coloring have some uh, measuring cups to help you make sure you have the right ratio, some paint brushes, uh, spoons to mix with, and a muffin tin uh, to put your different colors in, or if you're like me, maybe some jars to put your paint inside of. All right, so I think I have everything, so why don't we go ahead and start making our paints? Yay! Yay. So, to do your paint making, your first step is going to be to mix your cornstarch and water. You want a one-to-one -one ratio of these things, which means that if you do a cup of cornstarch, you want a cup of water. However much cornstarch you use, you use the same amount of water. So, Miss Chrissy is putting her measurements of cornstarch into each section of her muffin tray and then she will be mixing it up with the water. I'm gonna do um, a fourth a cup of cornstarch to a fourth a cup of water. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. <clears throat> so whenever you're mixing it up, it can be a little difficult to mix up, but that's okay. Um, you'll, you'll be able to feel it whenever all of the cornstarch has dissolved. So it might just take a little bit of time. So be patient. And if you have somebody around to help you, you know, you could do half of the muffin tin while somebody else does the other half, or uh, you could do it in one big batch and separate it out. I think Miss Miranda already suggested that. That might have been the better way to go. Well, and I have some movement problems because of my disability. And so I tried to do things in a way that will safeguard me from spilling because I am prone to spill. So my plan was to mix it separately and then pour it into little jars that I had lids for. So I can just shake it up and there's no mess and I can carry it outside with me and I don't have to worry. That's also a really good, um, you, you'll definitely know that your color is well mixed because you can shake, shake, shake it up. Right. All right, so I have the base of my paints all made up. So now I'm going to make them colorful. So today, Miranda and I are both gonna be using some food coloring, but you could also use some tempera paint. So that's water soluble paint. Um, what I will say with the food coloring, we have to be careful with how much we put in there because there is a potential for it to stain. So, if you don't put too much in there, it will wash right away, just like sidewalk chalk does. If you go crazy with it, it's probably gonna stain your sidewalk. So just make sure to have your adult around or be very careful with how much you put in. Cool? Cool. So our first three that we are gonna do are gonna be our primary colors, which are red, blue, and yellow. So from these three colors, we could actually make any color in the world. So, that's pretty cool. So let's try it out. And I will say that, you know, obviously with the cornstarch, our base is kind of a cream. So getting that super bright Crayola of, you know, color is going to be hard. So with the red, it might not look bright red. It's probably going to be more of a bright pink, but you know, that's what we're dealing with. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with four drops. 
And if you don't get a super bright color, you like I said, you can add more. Like I'll probably add some more to that blue because I just know that it can be brighter. How many drops of food coloring did you go with? Well, I wanted a bright, bright color. So I think I went closer to five or six for my little thing. You can see that mine is extremely bright blue. That's really pretty. For my hands. All right, so I have my primary colors and they're beautiful and I love them, but I wanna go ahead and start making some other colors. So that would be our secondary colors. So secondary colors are when you mix two primaries together to create a second color. So if we mix our, let's just do our red and blue since they are right there. And you wanna do equal drops of both colors to get the purest form of that color. So red and blue should make purple. Yay. Yay. All right, and then we can go yellow and blue. Any, any thoughts about what it might make? Any guesses? My guess is probably green. Probably green. I accidentally just put the green in there. <laughs> it's so going to be it's green. sure gonna be green. <laughs> All right, let's see, beautiful. All right, and then the last one is going to be red and yellow, which is going to make orange. orange. Yeah! So, there are all of my secondary colors. Ooh, well, I love that orange. Okay, so then we have our primary, we have our secondary, and then we could also have tertiary, which is going to be taking these ones and mixing them together. So that's going to be your magentas and your turquoise and your lime greens. So I suggest and encourage you to just try out all of the colors. So I'm just going to take a little bit more time to create some colors. I also went to the store and got some neon colors that I thought would be fun to try out. So here we go. Okay, so I have uh, my full paint palette all made up. So now we're ready to go outside and get started painting. Here we go. Yeah. Yay. All right, so here we are in our outdoor spaces. So I chose to do the stairs leading up to my apartment. And Miranda, what did you choose? I am in my backyard in my driveway. So I'm going to be drawing on the ground out here and also on this concrete wall I have. Awesome. So our idea behind this is to have a sidewalk chalk mural that's interactive. And so, you know, the world is your oyster with this. So Miranda, do you want to talk about your inspiration a little bit? Yeah, I think on my wall, I'm going to do an under the sea type theme. And I'm going to do blue chalk paint for the water and I'm gonna put some fishies in there and hopefully a jellyfish if I have the skill for it. And on the ground, I wanted to do some birds that I could have sitting on my fingers and some angel wings and a halo that I can lay under. That is awesome. I love all of those ideas. I think for mine, I'm gonna do a mixture of a geometric pattern going up my stairs uh, mixed with kind of a brick road situation. So I could take some cool pictures of maybe my feet going up the stairs. So what we really want everyone to do is make interactive chalk art that, that you can take a picture of and, and become part of your artwork. So we're going to start going for it. So I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to kind of lay out my design and then I'm going to take all my paintbrushes and start laying in the color. All right? All right. Here we go.
much wrapping up here. So we just wanted to check back in and kind of show our final products. So mine started out as a brick road and then had some issues with gravity. And instead of getting very upset that that wasn't working out, I decided to use that. Good. And so I kind of created this like melting candle situation on my stairs, which I really love how it turned out. What I did was I did warm colors in the middle and then my cool colors off to the side and so there's a cool a cool gradient. Haha. -ha. <laughs> um, so that's that's how mine turned out, Miranda. How did yours turn out? Well, I have my under the sea mural behind me and I have my angler fish buddy over here. And I have a jellyfish behind me and Nemo up here. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. My chalk paint dried in kind of a different hue than I was expecting. So I went over it with my chalk chalk uh, just to make sure to let the viewer know what colors I was going for. Yeah, yes, and I love the colors that it, it turned out as. So sometimes with the chalk paint, it depends on if you use food coloring or tempera paint. Uh, a lot of the time it'll actually dry a lot more vibrant. Um, and so I actually grabbed some tempera paint that I had um, and added some to some of my colors just to kind of show which ones uh, dried brighter and you can kind of see, ooh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But um, I love how yours turned out. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take pictures with ours and then put them at the end of this video. And we encourage everyone at home to do the same. So if you do this project, make sure to take a picture of it and tag us on Facebook or Instagram. And we're so excited to see them. Yay. All right, thank you guys.